So this is the brand new Zorin OS 17.2 and Zorin OS is often considered as the best Windows alternative due to various reasons which we will explore in this video. The user interface is a strong suit of Zorin OS. We get windows like start menu and android like quick toggles. Now zooming on the quick toggles, we have easy to access sliders for volume, brightness and mic. You will also notice a small power icon which toggles the power menu. You can also notice the easy to see battery status and also toggles for various settings. The built-in screen capture tool is extremely useful and a nice add-on that offers advanced options as well. Now this is the 3D desktop feature of Zorin OS that has garnered a lot of attention but we will need to enable it from the appearance settings and before exploring the customization options you can see the Zorin OS information and also my laptop specs which is the Ryzen 2500U and 8GB of RAM. This is another animation that you can enable from the appearance settings. Now going to the appearance settings from where you can access and enable all the advanced customization options like this desktop layout. This really does change the whole OS experience. Uh, also do note that some of these layouts are paid and does require the Zorin OS Pro version. Now apart from this we get a lot of other settings for changing accent colors, animations, window styles, icons and much more that you will encounter while exploring Zorin OS. And the wallpapers for the latest version is also quite nice and they truly change the desktop look. If you install the Zorin OS Pro, you will get access to a lot of uh, like built-in applications that are quite necessary and also useful but you can also install them manually from the built-in app store. For example, I have installed Bottles which is a Windows emulator. I have downloaded the Ruvus app which is uh, to show that uh, it will run and also it's not available on the Linux platform. So you can see the app is working as expected but it won't detect any USB drive as it's yeah, like inside the emulator only. Additionally you can download other Windows app that are listed here and are sorted by compatibility. For all the Microsoft Office users, fear not as the built-in LibreOffice offers similar experience and is completely free to use. On top of that, it is also frequently updated to keep up with the latest scene. Also from the built-in app store, you can download and install Steam program to access all your game titles. Uh, just make sure to enable the compatibility mode in the settings. I've installed Combat Master which is a lightweight Call of Duty inspired game. If PC gaming is too much for your laptop or PC, then you should try Lutris, which offers options to install and run old emulators like the Nintendo, PlayStation, etc. You can also install Epic Game Store or the GOG using this application, or directly install exe files as well. And like me, if you are looking to use Zorin OS for creative purposes, then we have apps like the Caden Live for video editing. Which, an op uh, which offers a lot of advanced options and the GIMP for photo editing. Now both of them offers advanced options and are free to use. We also have audio editor, illustrator and more in this app library that is inside the Zorin OS. Also nowadays we need to have uh, our phone sync to the PCs and we can achieve that using the Zorin Connect app which you can install on your phone as well and now from there you can access notifications, battery status, uh, view and share media files, locate your phone and much more use, uh, using this application on Zorin OS. Also to facilitate all the users 
different needs, Solinos provides a plethora of useful applications across multiple genres. The performance has been also quite smooth with no stutters while multitasking or just general day-to-day -day life uses. Uh, if you are in the market for a Linux distro, then make sure you try the latest Zorin OS 17.2. You can uh, uh, find the installation video and download link in the description. Make sure to like this video if it was helpful and let me know your comments down below.